everybody, this is Praxis. We're up on the roof and the roof is done with the pesky exception of the fact that the metal part of the roof isn't on here. Everything else is and that is a pretty big accomplishment. I know that, you know, the roof itself isn't here, but the entire support structure is all here. The insulation is all up here. Every crack and every seam has been spray foam so that there's no leaks or anything. It's, um, it's beautiful. It's nice that it's all, all done. Unfortunately, we have an ice storm coming in about 48 hours, so uh, you know, I don't want all this surface to get all covered in ice. After the ice, ice storm, there's going to be a bump up in temperatures that it's going to be above freezing, uh, but that's not going to really help the north side of the roof. As you can see, the south side of the roof gets a reasonable amount of sun, and the north side pretty much gets nothing. So if we get a slick of ice on this roof, uh, it's going to be really hard, well, okay, it's going to be really hard, yeah, to put the metal down on the roof because if there's like a quarter inch shell of ice over the whole thing and we try to put the, the roof panels down, aside from it being very slippery and dangerous, uh, it's going to be really difficult to actually secure them down because we could put the screws in and tighten them down all the way, but then once that water melts, they're going to be all loose again. So what I'm going to be doing uh, at the end of the day today, right now, is uh, putting this tarp over really just the north side of the roof. This tarp is big enough that it could do both sides of the roof. It's actually a, a, a second, uh, I bought two tarps. The other one is being used down here as kind of a, a scarf around the uh, um, the shed uh, foundation because we're still not getting our dirt delivery. The truck's still having technical problems. Uh, so I'm, my tarp is being used down there, but I, I bought it, you know, two is one and one is none. So I got two of them and I'm going to be using the second one up here to cover this whole area up. And that way, you know, ice can fall and it'll cover the whole thing. Uh, but then I just take the tarp off and it's a nice clean surface to work with. And uh, as far as the south roof goes, I have a high degree of confidence that whatever ice falls on there, it's all going to melt because the sun's going to be baking it and it's, you know, it's all going to melt. So I just want to uh, protect this side of the roof. So I'm going to get right to it and you can watch me uh, do that task and possibly fall. I do have my uh, uh, climbing harness on. Uh, but uh, one, one video that I've been meaning to do uh, on this channel is a video about knot making, uh, knot tying. Uh, it's not a skill that I have any particular proficiency in, uh, but I do know people that are good at it. I've been trying to get them on to do kind of a knot making video. Um, and I'm not really good at doing knots myself. So, uh, you know, if I do depend on this for my life, we'll see how that goes. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see if I survive this. One tricky thing about this harness is that even though it does offer you the chance to save your life if you fall, it does make working a lot more awkward. And I occasionally actually trip on the harness lines, which uh, I don't know. Can can a harness claim that it saved your life if, if it's the one that tripped you in the first place? I don't know. All right. I'm glad it's not windy.